What's up YouTube and wrestling fans? I am CJ Extreme 98 and I wanted to talk about the things I think should be added to WWE 2K19 as well as things that maybe 2K should improve in the next game. So just to get the small things out of the way first, the stuff that I don't really need to elaborate on, uh, AJ Styles Double Styles Clash, the one he did to uh, the Singh brothers on, on SmackDown, I think that would be a cool double finisher to add to the game. Also, Kevin Owens and Chris Jericho's tag team finisher where Kevin Owens would do a pop-up and Chris Jericho would catch the person coming down with a code breaker. I think that'd be a good tag team finisher uh, to add. Also, Eric Rowan's double superplex that he did to the Usos a while back. It was at Payback or Battleground, I think, and it was the best two out of three falls match between the Usos and Luke Harper and Eric Rowan, and I think that would have been a cool thing to add as well. A match that we've been asking for for a while now as well, a triple threat tag team TLC match. I don't know, really know why that's not, you know, in the game. We've been asking for it forever. You would think, you know, it'd be in it by now. They kind of gave us a six-man TLC match where it's three on three. But I feel like they could do, you know, they could just add that to the, to the game. I understand that maybe it might be difficult to program multi-team matches without, like, there being any errors. But just knowing that you tried would be something nice, you know. Uh, Multi-team matches as well, referring to like when you have a triple threat tag team match or a fatal four-way tag team match, I think that would be nice as well. Also, the unsanctioned match. I mean, Johnny Gargano versus Tommaso Ciampa, that match was awesome, excellent, and really cool. And, you know, it'd be fun to just kind of play that out yourself, perhaps with different people or created characters. Also, women should be allowed to bleed. I don't know why that's not a thing. They're human, you know, that, that should be a thing in the game. Okay, so now that we're like two minutes in, we can go ahead and talk about the other things that they should add a little bit more elaborately. So, finisher counters. I think that when you're being carried, like like powerbomb position firemen's carry uh, on the shoulder or, you know, the um, fall away slam sort of carry position, I think you should be able to, if you have enough stamina, escape it right into your finisher. I just think that'd be a really cool thing. And it shouldn't matter what the finisher is, it should just be for all the finishers um, options. Like you can take someone down out of a uh, power bomb into a submission. That'd just be something cool. Or uh, like, you know, say they go for the power bomb and you like swoop out the legs, go into the walls of Jericho. I don't see why that wouldn't be a thing. And that's just something really cool and interesting to add. Cause you see a lot in wrestling when people counter stuff into their finishers or counter a lot of moves into their finishers actually. And I feel like they could start with the carrying system just to make it more interesting. If an opponent doesn't have a lot of stamina, it would be nice to see you are the uh, player or the computer counter their opponent into a roll up if they have the ability or the uh, you know the skill. That would be nice as well. A nice little touch to the game, again, making things a bit more interesting. The My Career mode uh, this year or last year, I guess wasn't too bad uh i enjoyed it you know it was fun i feel like there were things that could have been done better but at the same time you know it was something that they had just recently started doing and they can of course improve upon it upon it over time so i think what they should do to freshen things up i mean not only should they have a male's micro remote as they did last year but also a woman's micro remote i don't see why that's not a thing so maybe if you get you know tired of playing with the male character, you want to take a break from that, you want to do something different, you can try the female character. And also, a tag team my career mode. That way you can focus on the tag division rather than the singles division because usually people want to focus on the singles division when they play a my career mode. So having a separate tag my career or tag team my career mode will be pretty nice. You can start off from NXT and then move on to Raw or SmackDown. And each of these uh, career modes can have their own timelines. The Tower of Doom is a very popular spot in wrestling, and I feel like they could add that to the game as well. It doesn't necessarily have to be a tag team of like it is in 2K18, but in 2K19, I could see it more so as a move that you can do in a certain spot. Meaning, if someone's going for a superplex, and then you walk up behind them and you press X, you can join in and do a double team superplex. But if you have a finisher, then you can do like a power bomb on it or an electric chair out of the corner doing damage to both of your opponents, thus, you know, making sense. It could be a double finisher thing as well. Like you could have, only have to have uh, two finishers to be able to actually do it. And then if someone else also has two finishers, they can join in as well and uh, break up the move. 
also similar to the unicorn stampede where you know you tagging your partners and they all work together and just kind of stump on the opponent over and over like how the new day does it and then they turn it into a assisted turnbuckle drop kick uh i think the super kick party would be a nice addition to the game as well which is where you would have to have three finishers you tagging your partner and you do a super kick to your opponent that was in the corner and then the illegal opponent will also get hit with tandem a tandem super kick between you and your partner and then the opponent that already got hit with the previous super kick will get hit with another tandem super kick and then you you can go for the pin and that could be a finish for the matchup unless of course they somehow kick out of it also double moves in triple threat matches and uh fatal four ways usually you find yourself outnumbered sometimes your opponents will work together against you but what if you want to take out two opponents at once rather than working with an opponent so you can maybe you want to throw them to the corner and i know that's something that you can do but you can also you can also go for um say drag them next to each other's bodies and go for a diving move and because they're closer together you can do a double splash double swanton double moonsault something like that that would just make sense or maybe doing a double five knuckle shuffle like john cena does or maybe doing a double boom drop that kofi kingston will sometimes do you know double moves like that i think would be very helpful in triple threat matches and also make them more fun and exciting to play they can also improve triple threat matches by uh not having the computer kind of run in and break up your move when it's not uh, like you're not going for a pin it's just it's kind of annoying when you try to do your finisher and the computer just runs in and breaks it up so now that we've talked about everything that they can add i just mentioned something that they can they can improve um they can also improve universe mode by adding storyline choices when you want to create rivalries now there are rivalries that like have their own little storylines maybe they'll have a, a still cage match against one one another and they'll do like a preview for that where like one gets thrown into the cage over and over while being trapped inside with the other person and they also have cutscenes where like someone will get choke slammed through a table to set up for a tables match at the next pay-per-view so i feel like you should have the option to choose what you want to do uh for each of the storylines so maybe you want it to build up to a false kind anywhere matchup maybe you want it to build up to oh your manager can't be ringside because they keep interfering you know stuff like that would just be something nice to do also uh unlimited time during universe mode of course unlimited time choosing promo dialogue now in my career mode it makes sense because you're trying to be an actual wrestler it's a simulation of being an actual wrestler but in universe mode, it's just kind of you just kind of messing around and having fun. So I feel like you shouldn't be limited to the time that you have to choose dialogue. It just gets, you know, kind of annoying when you're trying to um, just have fun with it. But at the same time, you're forced to kind of compete. When you're not really wanting to challenge yourself. You just want to have fun. Um, match pacing would be nice. Some matches uh, that I play in this game can be quite fast and fun. And some matches can be quite boring because like sometimes the computer will just kind of suck the life out of the match by going for a rest hold. Or maybe they'll do something incredibly underwhelming when like the whole match has been awesome up until this little part right here. And I know like in real wrestling, some matches aren't constantly good, but there are matches that have been consistently good throughout the duration of a matchup. So I don't see why they can't do that uh, for this, for the game itself. I believe the creation suite is fine as it is right now there are some improvements that maybe they could do uh if you have any ideas let me know in the comment section below but for me i would have to say they'd probably have to add making like uh expanding upon your body parts basically it's like you can choose to be muscular you can choose to be skinny i feel like there should be a slider option too in case you you know you can't find the one that you want then you can choose the slider instead to uh improve your body type um sorry for saying i'm so many times it just it happens voice options in my career mode would be nice too of course there's only so many voice options to choose from and that's fine just as long as you can make your character as unique as possible so that their dialogue um so that when they talk it's not just like you just reading text constantly like in an old rpg or like earthbound but Rather, there's, they also have like dialogue already in the game, so you can kind of just listen and enjoy it. You know what I mean? 
And finally, they can improve the dragging and carrying system in the game, in my opinion. It could be drastically improved. I feel like it's already nice as is, all right? But when you grab someone by the hair and you're dragging someone, I feel like that itself could be better because I just, it annoys me and it's just, just probably just me, but it annoys me when I get like dragged over to the ropes just so someone can bounce me off the ropes. It's, I don't know, it's kind of agitating. I don't, I don't particularly like that and doesn't make the game all that fun for me to play. Also, I just remembered another move they could add that AJ Styles does. He does a running clothesline in the corner and then he'll do a snap mirror and then run off the ropes into a sliding a uh, small phenomenal form just something else that I just thought of just now that I think would be cool also adding like catch finishers to like suicide dives so if they dive through the ropes you can catch them into an RKO or a cold breaker dude that'd be that would be sick could you imagine if that was actually in the game that'd be amazing or Roman Reigns spear from one table to another or maybe Randy Orton doing an RKO from one table to another or countering uh, a t an out table finisher to where they either jump through the table themselves or you uh like as a double reversal of course or you shove them through the other table if there are two tables um ringside i think that's uh, about it i think that's pretty much it as to what i think could be improved for WWE 2k19 and added to WWE 2k19 again of course if you have any ideas you can say so in the comment section below and if you agree or disagree, you know, maybe you want to hit the like button or maybe you want to uh, say something in the comment section. It's up to you. You don't really have to. Um, thanks for watching, though, if you made it this far. And I'll see you guys for the next video later on today. Perhaps.